hello ct students in lecture 15 professor madhavan mukund had shown the procedure to find the frequency of every individual word in the paragraph so for each new word we encounter we declare a new variable keep its frequency 0 and increment it by 1 and when we come to a word which is already there whose frequency was already 1 then we increment it to 2 so this way we keep increasing the frequency every time we see the word again and when we find a new word we add a new variable initialize it to 0 and increment it by 1 we are going to do a similar procedure now with the shopping bill dataset we are going to find the number of bills per customer in this dataset so for this every time we encounter a new customer we declare a new variable initialize it to 0 and increment it by 1 and each time that customer shows up again we will increment that variable by 1 so here let's begin we have shrivatsan this is our first card shrivatsan for sv stores so let us declare a variable for shrivatsan and we initialize it to 0 and then we increment it by 1 now we have sudeep who again we initialize to 0 and increment by 1 now we have akshaya again 0 1 then there is advait again 0 1 now there's akshaya again therefore one now becomes two so akshaya variable is incremented by one the shrivatsan again so shrivatsan goes from one to two now we have akhil who's new so we have akhil being zero and then incremented to one Advait is back, so one is now incremented to two. Mohit is new, so we have initialization to zero and incrementing by one. And Rajesh is also new. We do the same thing, which is initialized to zero, increment by one. and abhinav is new so 0 and then 1 aparna is new 0 1 abhinav is there already so we go from 1 to 2 vignesh is new so we are now initializing to 0 and incrementing by 1 Abhinav is there again, so Abhinav is probably the current maximum. Advait is there. Advait is also on three right now. George is new, so zero and one. Ahmed is also new, so initialize to zero, increment to one. Niraja is new. Right here, Niraja initialize to zero, increment to one. Ahmed is here again, so two. Akshaya is there again, so three. Suresh is new, so Suresh is initialized to zero and incremented to one. Julia is also new, so zero and one. Niraja was there already. Niraja is here, so Niraja is now on two. Ahmed was also there, so Ahmed is now on three. Shrivatsan is also now on three. Shrivatsan is now on four. 
Vignesh saw Vignesh before, so so two. Ahmed is on four. Radha is new, I think. So Radha is on zero, goes to one. This is the last card in our data set. Now, in order to get the maximum number of shopping bills for a customer, what we need to do is go through these variables, the customer variables and find out the maximum. But that would involve two iterations. Instead, if we look at what the professor had done in the lecture, he declared a variable called max frequency, which he kept at zero, which he initialized to zero. And each time the frequency of any variable is greater than max frequency, max frequency was also updated to that new frequency. So it is one now, and these are all ones. And now was becomes two. So the max frequency is also updated to two. And again, was becomes three. So max frequency is now updated to three. So in this way, in one iteration itself, by keeping an extra variable called max frequency, we get the max frequency at the end of a single iteration. Let's do the same thing with our shopping bill data set. So we have one variable, which is max bills which is initialized to 0 and from there on we go through every card and doing the same procedure as before so we start with Srivatsan Srivatsan is initialized to 0 and because there is one card now Srivatsan is incremented to 1 and now max bills 0 is less than 1 so max bills needs to be updated we go from 0 to 1 then we have Sudeep who also gives us one no improvement in max bills Akshaya one again Advait one again and now there is one more Akshaya so Akshaya becomes 2 2 is greater than our max bills value, so max bills needs to be updated to 2. Then one more Srivatsan. Srivatsan is now on 2. Max bills is the same as 2, therefore we don't need to update. Akhil is new. So it's 1. Advait is now on 2. Max bills is also 2, so no updating. Mohit is new. Rajesh is also new. Abhinav is new. Aparna is new. Abhinav is now on 2, max bills 2 is the same as 2, therefore no updating. Vignesh is on 1. One more Abhinav. So Abhinav is now on 3. 3 is greater than our max bills value 2, therefore max bills is updated to 3. Atvet is also on 3. George is new so one ahmed is new so one again neeraja is also new one again ahmed one more two max is three so we don't update Akshaya is also on 3. Max is the same as 3, so we don't update. Suresh is new. So only 1. Julia 
is new so only one niraja one more two ahmad is on three shri watson is also on three max bills is still three so there's no updating happening now shri watson goes to four max bills is less than four therefore update to four Vignesh is on 2. Ahmed also goes to 4. However, Max Bills is already 4, so no need to update. Radha is new. So, 1. And this is our last bill. Therefore, Max Bills is 4. And we got this in one iteration. We know that the maximum number of bills a customer has in this data set is 4.